Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, hey, I want to show you an example and I'm curious to see if you've ever had the experience because it's a really good one. When you go into an estate sale, the library, it's usually, it's usually more satisfying when it's in a, like a library store or a thrift store and you get donations, you, you can, it's a treasure trove and you see that it's, it's clearly everything has been donated probably by a single person and there's a lot of it, right? You run that into a state sale sometimes because you're at a person's home, right? So if they collected or read a certain thing, naturally it's gonna be their stuff. But when you see it at a thrift store or you know something that's more, more along those lines, a library bookstore, something where it's donated, it's always, you know, it's just, I always get excited when I see, you know, this, this all of something, right? And in this case, what I'm gonna show you today uh, is is what I found in my library and it's something if you don't know about you should you should look at and it's it's Warhammer books Okay, and I've got like 30 or 35 of them I'm gonna show you some examples and titles just so you're you're tracking it because it is some really good profit So hey before the actual examples, I just want to say thanks Thanks for the channel support for the views if you hit the subscribe button hit it uh, You guys keep watching uh, You know, I'll keep doing this and we'll see what happens, but I look forward to to your examples of, of these treasure troves that, that we run into every now and then. So let's go into Warhammer. If you're not familiar with Warhammer, it's it's a, a gaming system. It's, I think, Games Workshop is the company. And, you know, a lot of it is, it's, it's if you're not, if you're familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, it's it's similar but not, right? Because what ha what's dis the distinction of Warhammer, and I've got a couple of friends that, that play it, they talk about their little men's. They have to, you to, to do a campaign or to play the game, you have to have these little action figures and they have to be painted and and every year or two, there's a new rule set and if it's an official event, you can't um, use old armies, you have to have new ones. And it, it's quite pricey, it's a lot of time. People that run tournaments, I've got a buddy that ran some tournaments and he's got all these terrains that they build that they put the things out on. And it, it's really a fascinating thing. So there's, I've shown before, you know, some of the things from Warhammer you can get, like, you know, rule books and campaign books. But some of the storylines and some of the character things have been put into just fiction, okay? Like this one. Here's, and this is, this. there's several points on this one book. I've sold this, I just sold this, I had a random copy of it I found. And it wasn't in as, in as good a condition. I listed it. I sold it for like $22 and it sold literally in 15 minutes. I priced it low because of the condition. This one with better condition is probably going to bring probably $35 to $40, okay? Um, but here's some things to look at Warhammer. In general, anything that's Horus, the Horus uh, heresy is good. This uh, Dan Abnett guy, he's good, but I don't even worry about the author. I'll just buy this, right? So. All these paperbacks that I'm gonna show you, I got for a dollar each. I didn't even look at them. And there's some of them that are not gonna be big money. There's some of them that are gonna only be $10 books. But I can all know I can always sell these things for like 10 bucks a piece. I just get them, right? Um, you'll always see, you know, usually if you just see, you know, there's like, a, oh, bump the, the video there. You'll see Warhammer. And then the newest is Warhammer 4000 or Warhammer 40K as it's called. When you do your listing, always, you know, I'll put Warhammer 40K and then the title and the author on it, you know. So even though this is Horus Heresy, I'll put I'll put Warhammer 40K in that listing with Horus Heresy. So that's good. So here's some of them. Just I'll just show you, you know, I mean, I've got, I'll try not to drop them here. But there's some really cool covers, and I'm going to show you some pricing. Um, you know, there's, there's a stack, and then I've got, you know, here's like... Here's a whole nother stack. And one thing that I do get excited about is when I, there's the regular paperbacks. Here's another one, Thousand Sons. Another uh, author, this is another Horse Heresy. This Graham McNeil, his stuff sells really good. This is a 40 to $50 book, okay? One thing is on this, Amazon, you're locked down. You have to have like an authorized account, like with Games Workshop, that kind of approval. So these are straight to eBay, okay? So, but another thing I get excited about is when I see the oversized editions. So see, like, like here's a um, regular trade. It's the oversized paperback, the oversized trade edition, right? Now, 
This one is only about a $13 book on eBay. It's, you know, again, I paid a buck for it. It's good. But this sucker is like, it's not even, it was gently red. Let's, I love it when you find stuff like that, right? Here's another one, oversized, 12 to $15. These oversized books, that is the low end of these. You, you typically see these worth a lot more. And the examples are here. Vulcan Lives, oversized edition, 50 bucks all day long. All right. Here's another one. Death Fire. Look at the covers. The covers are just ornate on these. Uh, again, these are all the Horus Heresy. Um, that's going to be 45 bucks. All right. Here's one. Look at that. Vengeful Spirit. 84 bucks. That's kind of what I'm seeing comps on this guy. I paid a dollar for it. There's another one. 58. Beautiful covers. There's another $53 one. And again, these things, they were so, I can command a good price on these or a higher price on these because they're in such good condition. One, there's a demand, but then also the condition. And then here's the last one uh, that I'm just going to show you. It's a beautiful, and this is another Dan Abnett. Uh, it's just like 45, 50 bucks. So, all right. So here's what you do. Whenever you see Warhammer, check it out, whether it's a rule book, but especially these, these fiction paperbacks, right? Horse Heresy is good, Dan Abnett, Graham McNeil, but in general, I don't even worry about the author. I just get them, right? So just, you get them for 50 cents, a dollar, even $2, and you can make that kind of profit. I typically don't even look them up. I just look for, you know, I just get them if I'm getting them at that price. I know I can at least get 10 to $15 on them. The oversized editions, I'm always excited about those, you know, and make sure that you list in the title listing. Here's one, Battle of the Thing. Always call, put Warhammer 40K in the listing along with the title, and it, it, it sells good. So anyway, great find. I love when I find a lot of stuff from one, I can tell it's donated by one person. This was one person's collection they just decided to get rid of, right? I got like 33, 35 of them, paid a dollar each. I'll make that back with one book. So great find, great score, and love it when you find the treasure trove all together. Makes it easy. So see you cool, bye cool. Talk to you soon. Bye.